Beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. It is art. Absolutely bloody stunning. Quite a tight turn coming up. Oh, it may. And another one. Yeah, it's a couple of really tight turns. Okay. This looks like that uh, the roads we were riding when we, you know, when all them cars were, uh, were them strange cars were, they're from Holland or somewhere. Do you remember? Where they? Remember when all them weird cars were all riding around the countryside? I think they were from Holland or somewhere, oh, weren't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They got like a cow on yeah. the roof and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they was yeah. Roads were like this, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. They was, yeah, you're right there, yeah. The to um, Holt Whistle now, we uh, had lunch in Sedba, we were going to have, uh, the plan was to have fish and chips but the chip shop was closed, uh, we, uh, it doesn't open on Monday so uh, we had to uh, find a plan B and a couple of doors down was a nice little deli, uh, we had uh, nice sandwiches and coffee and, uh, and scone, um, really nice, very uh, really lovely quality food and uh, very reasonably priced as well so uh, uh, I had a, uh, a mackerel uh, sandwich uh, a, a uh, fruit scone and a cappuccino uh, just under a tenner 975 I think something like that or 925 a great value for the area so, uh, really nice very enjoyable. So we're on this road now. This is the Sick Beat 6259, which is a lovely road. Lots of twisties on it. Just need to get rid of this blue car in front. And uh, should then all be good. I don't know why it's just suddenly breaking like that. It needs to let me through. Here, so so I think we have arrived in Sedba. I've been to Sedba all that. We arrive in Holt Whistle around about an hour and forty-eight minutes, hour and fifteen minutes. So we're looking around about four o'clock arrival. But this here looks like what we've got to enjoy on the way there so, uh, it's uh, it's going to be a pleasure ride
waterfall over there. The waterfall on the right, Kev. Or a or a weir or whatever it is. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, eh, Dave? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely bloody gorgeous. Yeah, it is, mate. I'd love to live somewhere like this. Oh, God, no. It's beautiful. I don't know how lucky they are, people, they get to live in places like this. You are, mate. I said, I don't know how lucky they are, people, they get to live in places like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, that's the Ribblehead Biodog, that is. We've come at that from another direction. You know that viaduct we use? Yeah, when we come out of holes in Yeah, there. yeah. We yeah. See, we see it yeah. on the left. Exactly, couldn't it? Looks like it, but that yeah. it might not be long enough. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a continuation of it, Dave. Could be. Uh, what's this here? Welcome yeah. to Richmondshire. Empty of North Yorkshire. So we're heading towards Hawes and Leyburn now anyway. We've got to turn left ke towards Kirby Stephen. That's oh. it, left here. Okay mate. Ah, we come up here last year. We've come at this from another direction. I remember that pub on the corner. Oh yeah. <laughs> when we come out of Hawes, I went round the corner and turned on the right. Yeah. I know where we are now. Concern right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been down here. Alright, for two and a half miles we are gotta take a, a right turn onto the uh ace. 65 A685 I think it is to Brow or Brough or whatever it's called but this is a glorious bit of road here look at this beautiful look at that tree there that lone tree Kev appears to be back. Are you back, Kev? Uh, oh, there's a pungent smell of countryside there. Six two seven seven towards Middleton in Teesdale, and we've got uh, twelve miles of this road. It looks uh, like it could be very nice. Fortunately, we thought we might have a bit of slow traffic. To Some more nice scenery up here, Kev. Oh, it's beautiful, eh, Dave? Yeah. Look at that over there, Jesus. Beautiful. I know, mate. I know. Do without this in front of us, but hey ha. I think we've done the Pennines before, Dave, when we, um, when we went up to Northumberland once. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. we went to Annick Dave, right? Annick, yeah. I think that was still on the Aprilia, Dave. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, that we was on the Aprilia, then. That was... Now, I, I think that was 2015, you know? 
seven was years it? ago. Because yeah. I was on my uh, I was on my MT09 and I bought that in 2015. Yeah, yeah. I remember when you um you went under that bridge, Dave, <laughs> and it was like fucking spitting flames. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it was good that oh was, wasn't it? God. That was good. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> We've been to some bloody places, you know. Hey? I said we've been to a few bloody places, you know. On the bikes. Okay. I said we've been to a fair few places I on know. the bikes. I know, mate. I know, mate.
today's ride and it's a pretty pleasant 15 degrees at the moment. Uh, 15, no, 16 degrees. And this is just amazing countryside. Absolutely beautiful. It's uh, more than we could have wished for today. The weather's been really kind to us. The roads have been just absolutely fantastic. And uh, it's uh, an absolutely brilliant start to the uh, to the tour. And uh, if it carries on like this, it's just going to be uh, out of this world. So, as I say, we're not uh, we're not far off uh, our destination now. About 20 miles, I think. But uh, but this is a as a as a background. Scenery for where we're going. Just incredible. Just incredible. Just love the spike on these type of roads. It just, it's like it was, it just eats them up, it loves it. It's just, it instills so much confidence, really. That's a, a bloody awesome bike. reason we want motorbikes, this road is that reason. Down, so you go from the moorland, the short, stubby, dry grass, down into the lush fields and pastures of the valleys and up on the lower ground. Wonderful. So, we're 12 minutes and 8 miles away from the digs. Uh, that's the time. Three fifty-eight, so nearly 4 o'clock. Lovely bit of road. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, first day we get, we get there. Let's say about 12 minutes and we should be there. And we'll, uh, get unpacked or get uh, 
him on a slope, I didn't get him. A little rabbit ran out in front of me then. Really hope I didn't get him. Um, yeah, so get some Morris clean clothes out, get the washing kit out, and get the camera kit out. That's about it. That's all I plan to do. So I've packed so it's nice and easy. Every day's clothes are packed separately. So clean out, dirty in, and away we go. Oh, I really hope I didn't get that little rabbit. It's only a baby, I think. Or a youngster, anyway. We've got a left turn coming up in a second. But this is lovely. Lovely bit of road to finish the day off. So we'll fuel up in the morning. And we're up to uh, Kilda Forest. Have a look at the reservoir. To the to Kilda Forest. Up to uh, uh, up to uh, Falkirk Wheel Kelpies, and then to Perth for tomorrow night's uh, stay. So, set around two, four, six miles today. So we're looking not far off. Probably about two fifty total when we get to where we're going. We have seen some absolutely glorious roads today and ridden some glorious roads today. It's been uh, absolutely phenomenal the roads we've uh, we've ridden. So uh, yeah, clearly pleased with that. The time spent pouring over base camp was uh, was well worth it. So we got seven miles. I was having so much fun back there. I missed my turn. But now we're, we're good to about, we're four miles away. Eight minutes and four miles. Yeah, so where was I? <laughs> yeah, not concentrating on what I was doing. Uh, enjoying the scenery and the roads too much. But yeah, so in, uh, 0.5 miles, I've got to turn right. Is it a right turn or is it just a bend in the road? I think it's just a bend in the road. Yeah, so it's been an absolutely cracking day. Uh, I hope uh, you've stayed with us for the journey and joined us for the for day one, virtually, uh, and that you've enjoyed it. It's uh, hopefully been a little bit entertaining. Uh, that's what I'm aiming to do. What we got going on here? Uh, so we're up here. That's bloody lovely roads. Uh, just following it round. I'm all right from on the A69. We're all right for another 1.7 miles. There we go. Yeah. So hope, hopefully, it's uh, it's been uh, there's been some entertainment value, and uh, you've been able to see and get a feel for uh, our tours and ride outs. Stay with us for the rest of the journey, hopefully the camera will hold out so we can uh, capture our arrival at the digs. And then uh, we'll close it for, t for the day, or the riding for the day. But who knows, I may be a little photo montage or there may be a, a video of this evening's shenanigans. Say shenanigans with old farts like us, there won't be any shenanigans. We might have a couple of points and then uh, be in bed before you know it. So we're, uh, we're knocking on a bit now. So five minutes away, 254 and a half miles in. So I think it's a sharp left and then a right. Sure. 
there with so that looks like the town ahead of us there beautiful so let's have a look 1.7 miles we've got a left turn We set off about quarter nine this morning. We had a probably an hour's break in uh, in Sigma and uh, half an hour at Charnock uh, Richard Services. So we've done a fair bit of riding, but that's what was, we've got to get ourselves into the fact that we need to be knocking this many miles a day off in order to get through the. Uh, the tour will be at the digs every day, at the respective digs every day. So I think we've got a left turn, 22 miles, left turn coming up. Uh, some to the main road by the looks of things. Probably dug. Yeah, it's the main road. All the boyos got through, yeah. Uh, 0.3 miles right turn. Stay with us, we're nearly there. Right, we're now 0.6 miles, three, two minutes away. And we've got a speed camera. Oh, it doesn't want to take me. Speed camera there, we're at 30. We're here on the left, I think. Them roads were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, they Bloody yeah. hell. Joe's gone on that one. The pen lines, that one. Bloody brilliant they were. Brilliant, aren't they? They were brilliant. 